Greetings guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be going through how to create spatial points in Alteryx using the create points tool. So I built an example out here that I can show you guys and an application for it within Tableau. So I'm just going to walk you through it. Please comment down in the comment section if you have any questions. So the very first step is you need a data set that is going to have your latitude and longitude for whatever points you are trying to generate. So in this case, I want to generate points for the customer as well as the store. So this data can be stored as anything besides a bool or a byte, and it will read in the lat long. And in this tool, the create points tool under the spatial tab, you are going to select. So I want to create a point for every single customer location. So I'm going to select customer long for the longitude field up in the top left. And I am going to select customer let for the latitude field in the top right. So if this was stored as an integer, which it is not, you would need to select this right here. However, we do not need to do that in this use case. So I'm going to run the workflow right now. And if you put a browse tool at the end and see the centroids that have been generated by this make points tool, you will be able to see a map within all tricks. And you can add a base map by clicking on this drop down. And let's just say we want Alteryx Dark. We can zoom in and see exactly where these points are. So let's just say this is the map I want and I want to save it. What I can do is export it into a JPEG, which I'm not going to do. I'm actually going to throw this in Tableau for you guys, but you can export to a JPEG from the browse tool. So next I want to create my store points. So now you can see that we have a spatial object stored in our select tool at the very bottom. So this is going to be our customer points. So doing the exact same thing with stores, I'm putting the store long and the store latitude in the corresponding X and Y fields. And when I put a browse tool next to it, uh, let's do a different background map here. But let's do Alteryx Dark, most recent vintage. And now we can see the stores as well as the customers. So the stores are going to be green and the customers are going to be red. So next, I will put another select tool in here. And I am going to rename these two customer points and store points. And if you are no longer interested in how this works with Tableau, you can tune out now. But if you want to see how this can work inside Tableau with generating spatial points a lot quicker than any make point function in Tableau would do, I will show you how. So I'm going to open Tableau and use the outputted files that I just created. So I have my customer points and my store points and I have a map, right? So I'm actually going to create a fresh map here just so you guys can see how this works. So these two are joined on the customer C, which is essentially the customer name in this data sample data set. So Let's say on my first map layer, I want the customer points that Alteryx generated for me. What I can do is just double click geometry and throw everything customer related into the detail tab. And let's say I want all my customer points colored, just color them red, just like it was. And we are going to do the same thing with the store points. So how you would do that is actually layer the store points on top of the customer points. So you're going to click on the store points 
output that you have and add a layer. And now we can see the store points and let's make these green, just like they were before. And this is going to be the exact same output that you see in Alteryx. However, it is in Tableau now. So what we can do here is we can just add all these details into it, blah, 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 blah. And now we can see store count, customers, customers in relations to stores, and we already have all of the spatial files and geometry created for us. So one thing to note is that you will not be able to combine two centroid objects using strictly this tool in the same spatial output, but in a hyper file using Tableau desktop, you would be able to put both of them in the same file and not need to do any joins to get both of the centroids into your dashboard. So I had to put two separate spatial files to make this work since I'm using Tableau public. And we are seeing this map that is about to show up on the left being replicated in Tableau using the exact same spatial objects that Alteryx has generated for us. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more interesting content, and please drop a comment if you guys do have any questions on this. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.